I feel that sex is a blessing. It just helps me, like, bring, you know, that uh, out me, you know what I mean? That sex is something that you should do with somebody that you're ready to do it with when you're ready and when they're ready. And You need more maturity before you get into sex. Sex is a, an emotional experience that if you're um, not ready for it, it can really mess your life up or take you off track. I'm going to keep it real. Reality check. It's natural now. Teens having sex, 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds having sex. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I don't condone it, but if you're gonna, if teens are gonna have sex, I just say be, be yeah. safe, if anything. I know my religion. It wants they want me to be celibate, so I get married and find the right person. So yes, I do think it does. You, you only have sexual relationship with a woman only if you're married. I do know a lot of people of the Islamic faith who don't wait, who have sex, you know on a daily basis and I also know Christians who want to wait and who also don't want to wait. Have you have you followed those those rules? Uh, no. Uh, you just yeah. <laughs> All right. How you feel all men they have a lot of sex? That's up to them. If that's what they want to do, then that's what they want to do. I just think they need to slow it down. If it's like multiple people, they need to slow it down. Men shouldn't have sex with every girl they see. Some people got multiple sexual partners that they sleep with on a daily night. Friday night to, to Sunday night, they be, might be going ham, but during the week, they might live a day-to-day -day life. You know what I'm saying? But it's like it's everybody their own own person. If, if it's not with like that one person, you know, you're with, that you love, you know, um, I, I don't condone just going out and sleeping with a lot of women. That's, that's not what I'm about. We all see how these girls be having oral sex, right? Like big light camera on them and they be happy about it. Like I really feel as though girls like that are really disrespecting themselves and we should have more respect for ourselves as women. I'm sexually active. I'm 24 years old, so I mean, but I'm in a relationship and I only got one sexual partner right now. So for me, it's just like sex is an everyday thing. You know what I mean? so. It's especially important now. Why do you think? Because um, I guess the rate of transmission of Various STDs, especially in the African American community, um, a lot of children would benefit immensely from sex education classes. Sex ed in school, um, I had it in school, but it's just it, it, it don't help to me because it's really not telling you nothing. Like it, they just telling you protect yourself. Everybody know to protect themselves, but things happen for a reason. Like some things you never know. You could get raped. You feel me? Like people don't. I don't think it helps for real. For real, I don't. I think that's a good thing because it will teach young folks about what to do and what not to do, like using protection. Protection is very important because you could get sexually transmitted disease or something else. So I think it's very important to have in schools. Do you think it should be an appropriate age to have sex at? Yeah. Um, like what age? Very early. Perhaps 10. 10 years old. Maybe even younger depending on the neighborhood and the, you know, the youth that you're dealing with. At least in high school. High school? Yeah. I think get them in middle school. Middle school. No, like who wants to tell like little kids about sex? But yeah, it's like say ninth grade, uh, eighth grade. I think they should start. Thirteen and up. Thirteen and up. At least you're in your middle age, about fifteen. Really, as a child can comprehend. I mean, it's really just education right. of what they're gonna learn anyway. It's a lot of things, and, and you know, the media, and, uh, billboards, or posters that just portray sex, and kids, you know, a lot of kids just wonder what it is, and the some kids portray that, not knowing what it is. When they watch these videos of girls shaking their behinds, they really going to be like, oh, well, I guess that's the type of girls that I should be dating. And the way music is, it's like having sex and having sex and having sex is so important. So it really sticks to a young person's mind. Sometimes kids are like, ooh, I like that song, I got sex, and I want to have sex to that song. So It has both like positive and negative connotations with it, like with rap music and stuff. Sometimes it's sort of promoting promiscuous behavior, but um, I think with the right kind of music, it can add like a really positive spin on it. Yes, like bands that make her dance, that song is inappropriate. They make sex seem okay, like younger and younger people are having sex every day. Girls going around bands that make, no, that's not, so I think it does. TV and music, it seems like they don't care about the young viewers. 